Hello, everybody. Today, it's my great honor and pleasure to have Dr. Tanish with us, who has secured rank one INI SS DM Pulmonary Medicine D25. Welcome, Dr. Tanish. Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, what we'll do is we'll have a few questions and let it be more of discussion so that uh, most of the residents watching this video they should get that clarity how to approach to super specialty exams in their residency itself the first question how does it feel to secure rank one that magical number in one of the most toughest exam in the country dm pulmonology ini ss sir it is uh, definitely a great feeling sir uh, getting rank one uh, it is the dream rank for most of the people for anyone it is the dream rank sir so uh, super happy after receiving the result was unbelievable sir i couldn't believe i just uh, shared my admit card and results with my friend to cross check it so that was a great feeling sir yeah it must be magical i think we have uh, discussed about this uh... Uh, three or four days back in uh, Patna also. I, to I told that you will be getting yes. uh, under uh, rank 10. They want you there. That's why they have asked you so many questions. So the next question, briefly tell us about your UG, PG, current residency background. Yes, sir. Um, sir, I, I joined my MBBS in uh, 2016 in uh, Valamal Medical College, Madurai, sir. I completed my MBBS in uh, May 2022. The same year, I joined uh, MD Respiratory Medicine in Indira Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences, Patna, sir. Then, uh, in last November, I passed my uh, MD. I passed with an aggregate of uh, 83% and right. was uh, fortunate to be the university topper. And uh, coincidentally, that happened to be the highest mark ever in our uh, MD exam so far in the university, sir. So... Then after that, I gave my INI and the results came, sir. I have not joined uh, any SR ship in between. I was waiting for the results. So then uh, now I have uh, chosen Ames Delhi, sir. Yeah, great to know. Really appreciable uh, achievements in your uh, residency. Now, when did you decide DM Pulmonology and what attracted for you to go into DM Pulmonology? Mm. Sir, I decided uh, when I was uh, choosing uh, MD respiratory medicine for my PG, at that time only I decided I should go for DM and uh, that too in any central institute I should go. So joining a central institute has been my dream uh, right from my uh, UG days, sir. So uh, during my PG, I, I couldn't uh, get into central institute. So I thought... Uh, SS is the only way I could get into Central Institute and at that time only I decided I should give INA only and the INA I should crack. And uh, why pulmonary medicine? Um, I was always fond of respiratory medicine uh, right from my MBBS days, sir. In my internship, I used to enjoy seeing uh, respiratory cases. And uh, Palmo is a wholesome branch, sir. You, if you tell anything, any kind of practice you can do. If you want just OPD, you can do OPD. There is IPD, critical care, interventions. Then a lot of subspecialties, allergy, sleep medicine, oncology. So it gives you a lot of options. If you want to, to go more into depths of respiratory medicine, you can explore a lot. So... Then I decided uh, this is the branch I want and I should definitely do DM in that. Yeah, so very true. This, this was my thinking, sir. So this is what I tell to all the PG aspirants who want to get into pulmonology. I say it will give you that convenience and uh, it is very happy to listen from the younger generation also. The same view that I share with uh, the undergraduates. The next question. At what stage of residency did you seriously start preparing for uh, super specialty exams? Yes. Uh, sir, as I said, I wanted to take a super specialty right uh, when I joined uh, from the my MD, sir. But then, uh, you know, residency is tough and uh, we cannot find a lot of time. 
seriously uh, when i started preparing was um, about 6 months back sir after i, I submitted my thesis then I, the exams were like 3 4 months back so at that time i started uh, preparing seriously sir so anyway the syllabus is going to be the same for theory as well as uh, neat ss or ini anything uh, so but the extra thing i did uh, we have to focus on intricate details we should not just uh, read it uh, from the top we have to get into more depth so that is what uh, one extra thing i did sir so i know we will not find uh, more time after the university exams so while the reading itself i paid more attention and uh, studied in depth sir in the last 6 months mainly so when did you join uh, dams resident pulmonology course and how did you integrate the resident pulmonology course with the standard textbooks and guidelines yes sir sir i joined uh, in this course last january sir january 2025 i joined sir then uh, at that time uh, initially i could not uh, uh, utilize it fully sir then after the thesis submission uh, our consultant gave us some assignments sir during the summer vacation uh, there was going at that time uh, we did not have seminars so instead of seminars he used to give assignments so then uh, most of the previous year questions was covered and uh, you are also covering those so at that time i used to refer it then uh, <clears throat> eventually i continued with the preparation for my university exams also sir so that is how it happened uh, mm, mainly i was reading with uh, this only sir i did not make separate notes whatever pyqs were given by my consultant i made a notes apart from that i used to read in the app only sir yeah and you have topped not just iniss also your university exam now right yes. now people preparing for their university exam so what you will tell to them how to utilize this next 6 months yes sir uh, sir if they have time uh, definitely they should watch all the videos and then re- uh, read the notes what i did uh, whichever topics i felt uh, i was not thorough i used to watch the videos then i used to read the notes uh, immediately then the next day again i would read the same notes so uh, that that's how i uh, did my first reading sir then uh, during revision again I, i would read the notes if you don't have time to watch the videos then directly you can read the notes and uh, if you still have more time uh, then you can uh, make your own notes also it will be helpful so that you can later integrate your points yeah so how did you handle mcqs and analyze lo- wrong answers during your preparation sir mm sir mcqs i started doing from my third year when i entered third year slowly slowly i thought uh, now i don't have much time i should start uh, doing mcqs so i started doing mcqs then uh, wrong answers are uh, part of the learning process we cannot get upset with the wrong answers because uh, at, no one uh, completes the syllabus thoroughly and uh, we learn by uh, doing mistakes only sir basically so when you keep on doing mcqs you know what are the important topics which topic is getting repeated and some uh, uncommon topics are there from there only few questions will be asked uh, again and again so those questions will get to know and eventually uh, you will be well versed with those questions sir so that is how i approached my mcqs okay how was the interview experience what topics they mainly asked you Mm. sir they mainly ask the core topics they start with basics then they uh, go uh, to little bit advanced advanced and then they'll end up with the guidelines and trials and all so they focused on ild abpa severe pneumonia its guideline recommendations then newer uh, antifibrotics newer antibiotics uh, this kind of questions they were asking sir uh, and the trial recommendations and uh, if you if you tell a guideline recommendation they might ask which trial uh, led to this guideline recommendation kind of questions okay okay so one thing what i have understood from this conversation is you worked in one of the busiest institute in your state 
yes, and sir. moreover you had lot of icu duties night calls and yes. taking into consideration the busy schedule you have made sure you had a perfect plan for your theory practical and also super specialty exams yes sir. so taking your experience into count what will be the advice that you give to all our residents your inputs sir residency itself is hectic everyone knows so we were uh, three pgs per batch sir so every third day i would get duties so then uh, if you see in that aspect uh, it feels very congested that you can't find a lot of time but then uh, there is a <clears throat> gap of two days in between so the once my duty is done for the those two days i would go back uh, to the uh, library or reading room then i would sit there and i would read sir so wherever you find time uh, you have to utilize because uh, if you keep on waiting for the perfect time you cannot find it so apart from the duty days whatever time you get uh, you have to utilize it for preparing sir then uh, in first year it will be very uh, in the initial 6 month it will be very difficult you will be getting oriented to your branch so at that point of time um, you should definitely focus on the clinical work because bedside uh, knowledge definitely helps uh, in whatever question you get stuck it's your bedside knowledge that will help you can arrive at an answer and uh, after 6 months you can uh, start slowly with uh, reading the basics so what i did uh, because i wanted to pursue dm so i had uh, this plan of uh, studying whenever i get time so initial 6 months uh, the language was new i didn't know hindi so it and managing ward work everything was very difficult so at that time i could not find time then slowly i started reading the basics uh, chest x rays abg then uh, lung physiology uh, one book called west uh, book of uh, respiratory physiology then we used to seminar have uh, seminars every day in my first year uh, my seminar topic was on plural diseases so i took that an opportunity to cover uh, lights plura so in my first year i covered uh, lights plura and uh, uh, respiratory physiology <coughs> then second year also similarly whatever uh, seminar topics are there uh, i covered so this is the main thing we should not take seminars slightly sir so we should take it as an opportunity to utilize that because when you do the seminar you will know more in depth about it so it is your opportunity to learn from that then uh, in my second year i covered the major guidelines so at that time uh, i was focusing on uh, asthma copd tb abpa whatever guidelines are there ILD, so those guidelines I was focusing, sir. You have to learn clinical material also. So I was learning uh, <coughs> HRCT at that time only in second year. Uh, Webb's book of uh, radiology is there. So in that uh, chest radiology is uh, given in depth. So whatever topics you feel weak, uh, I used to read that. So then when I took the subscription, it was uh, very easy. That no topic was like uh, it's something new. So I had the basics. Then Uh, upon that foundation uh, the app helped very much sir so then the last 6 months i just uh, kept on reading the notes of res- resident pulmonology then it got thorough sir really uh, great to know because uh, tanish your journey is not just simple it is inspirational and you will serve as a motivation for all the respiratory medicine residents and it was uh, a great honor to speak with rank 1 iniss november 2025 dm pulmonology dr tanish looking forward for your inputs later on also to our residents who wish to pursue iniss thank you so much and all the best and i am assuring you that you will be one of the most wonderful pulmonologists of this country thank you thank you thank you so much sir It means a lot sir thank you sir